Hi, I'm Blake Tucker, AKA Dr. Inkwell, and I want you to drink more, I want you to drink well. I'm celebrating Black History Month by highlighting drinks from African-American bartenders. This week, it's a drink with a mysterious origin, the mint julep. The mint julep definitely comes from the South. We have plenty of records that show that, but what we don't know is who originated the drink because American slaves were the ones who prepared food and drink for their masters. In all likelihood, it was an African-American that created the mint julep, but unfortunately, we've lost so much of African-American stories to history We'll never know for sure. This week, I'm going to show you how to make a honeyed mint julep. A little bit of extra sweetness in there from the honey makes this drink really fantastic. The key to a mint julep is the crushed ice. You don't want shaved ice, nothing too fine, but you don't want big ice cubes either. You want something that's going to keep your drink very cold for a very long time. If you've got professional bar tools at home, a cocktail mallet and a Lewis bag are great for crushing ice. You can always do this with a kitchen towel and a meat tenderizer, but of course, it's nice to have the big professional tools. In addition to crushed ice, it's always helpful to have a cool container you can put this in. I've got this great pineapple container. But first, I'm gonna muddle the mint into my small side shaker. To start, I'm gonna need eight to 12 mint leaves. While I'm looking for mint leaves, if I find a little nice top section of the mint, I'm gonna put that aside and hold it for the garnish. So now we've got eight to 12 mint leaves in our small side shaker. We're gonna add two and a half ounces of bourbon and one half ounce of two to one honey syrup. Then we'll grab a muddler and just muddle that mint. By muddling all of the ingredients together, I'm actually going to be mixing them while I muddle. And our, my objective is to get all of these green leaves to be a little bruised, a little brown. Once that's done, I'm gonna grab my serving container and fill it with this crushed ice. And our objective here is to end up with ice that goes just a little bit over the rim, kind of like a snow cone. That's perfect. Once we filled our container with ice, we're just gonna pour the muddled bourbon over the top. I like doing it this way so that you don't get a ton of leaves in your mouth when you drink this drink. And watch that. We'll just melt all that ice on the top. Of course, this drink was made for those hot southern days, so it's meant to sit in the ice for a long time, to sip over time. Um, so you'll have plenty of ice in your container for that. And now grab your mint sprig top, and we're just gonna give this a slap to release the oils and nestle it in the top of the glass as the garnish to give us a bouquet in our nose. There we go. There's still a few tickets left to Mardi Gras cocktails this weekend. You get a box from Taste Catering with the, all the ingredients to make three New Orleans themed drinks with a little mixology twist and paired snacks inside. Check out the link below for details. Cheers, and I hope to see you next week.